Hello, a friend and I recently took part in the movie Game Jam, creating a game where you quote unquote hack your way into the government by completing various mini games. This was inspired by an amusing hacking scene from the film Swordfish and the rather dramatic approach generally taken to hacking in movies. So, I began by modeling the rather wild setup of Stanley the Hacker. The most important part of this was unwrapping the screens so that I could lay out how I wanted elements to move between them. In Unity, I then had two cameras, one for capturing the actual game, and the second for drawing objects to a render texture, which was then used for the computer monitors. For the different mini-games, I first created a simple falling words typing challenge, and then in the film they speak of a worm called the Hydra for sniffing out digital footprints, which I thought could work nicely as a game of snake. Finally, something to represent evading the antivirus system, a missile dodging game. There were two main problems I encountered with the missile behaviour. The first was that over time they all tended to clump together. This was fixed by making the missiles repel one another within a certain radius. This immediately made things a lot more interesting, since now the player often has to weave back through the group of missiles that's pursuing them. The second issue was that if a missile missed the player, it would often end up in some sort of stable orbit, which looks terribly dumb. I took a rather crude approach to fixing this, which was to check if a missile had remained roughly perpendicular to the player for some length of time, and if so, force that missile to temporarily target a new location on the screen before locking back onto the player. I then made this silly decryption task where you literally just have to mash the keyboard, and finally the actual login screen. The idea was that through the different minigames you've been able to hack open the password hints file, and now you have three attempts to get the password correct using those hints. I did also experiment a bit with a little brick breaker challenge as a sort of analogy for breaking through a firewall, but it never really felt fun to play for some reason, so I ended up leaving it out. With the minigames roughly in place, I could finally spend a bit of time making things prettier. I began by adding a few essential items, a bottle of wine, a wine glass, and a sandwich, and of course, a healthy serving of post-processing effects. Over here, by the way, you can see the door through which the police were going to charge in to arrest you, should you fail, but that sadly never happened. I also worked on transitions between the games, for instance, when you complete the snake game, the body disappears, leaving just the head of the snake, which can now move freely around to dodge the incoming antivirus missiles. I did manage to sneak the idea of a firewall into this level at least, preventing the player from escaping off the screen. Around this point, my friend Liam came over to help. He created the music, and also worked on balancing the difficulty of the different games. One of our main concerns was the Falling Words game, because it has to be completed in order to access the rest of the game, but of course everyone types at different speeds. We ended up with this curve, from which the speed of the words is sampled based on how fast previous words have been typed. This took a fair amount of manual tweaking, and it's probably still not quite right for many typing speeds, so there must be a better way of doing it. Anyway, next I experimented with doing some voiceover stuff. Come on, faster, faster! But I really didn't like the way that that sounded. Instead I tried adding some speech bubbles, because I thought those worked well in one of my previous entries, but they just ended up looking weird and distraction here, so that was dropped as well. I then spent some time making various success and fail animations. For the game win animation, I initially had Stanley doing a silly little dance, but it felt like a bit of a poor payoff for completing the game, so I spent some time making something a little more elaborate, where Stanley puts his feet up on the table, leans back in the chair, grabs his glass of wine, and toasts the monitors, which at this point are showing the government money being transferred. And that is the end of the game. Uh, looking back at it now, I have two main regrets. Firstly, not being more creative with the minigames. I like that their simplicity and familiarity means that the rules never have to be explained, but some sort of twist on each of them would have been cool. For example, the Hydra mentioned in the movie is supposed to be multi-headed, so perhaps there's some interesting way that concept could have been incorporated into the Snake game. Secondly, I wish I'd been able to make the voiceover fit, since Stan's random mutterings are such a funny part of the original scene. Anyway, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the game. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh,